From Krimi Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Atlas Copco South Africa last month hosted a tour at its head office in Boxburg to convey the company's new corporate brand message, the home of industrial ideas, which is one of the many ways Atlas Copco has tweaked its company to move into the fourth industrial revolution. Marlene Arnoldi attended the tour. Atlas Copco in 2014 moved into a multi-purpose facility in Jet Park in anticipation of catering to an expanding industrial equipment market. However, the economy and various industries had seen slow growth and the company needed to improvise in optimizing the use of space at their head office. Atlas Copco SA MD Frans van Nieker gives us background. When we started moving into the facility and developing the whole facility as such, what we've really done is to to build for uh, rather big growth and then you know the markets didn't um, materialize the way that we actually thought it was going to materialize so we've pretty much built it a bit too big obviously there's a, a cost issue on it as well but what we are now doing is to really optimize the utilization of our facility here uh, what we've done is one of our business units uh, ran there We've moved them in from Wadeville to utilize more of the space that was uh, really um, standing unoccupied. And uh, to go forward, I think, you know, there's internally a few things that we can do to expand, bring more people in. But I think we've pretty much uh, capitalized on the whole facility as much as we can. So it's, it's more now sub-optimizing internally if the business really progress and grow a lot going forward. Atlas Copco now shares the property with Rand Air and Epiroc. The facility comprises a 6,100 square meter office administration building, a 9,600 square meter distribution center and warehouse, 7,600 square meters of workshops and 1,100 square meters of training facilities known as the Academy. There are 23 workshops on the premises, mainly used for repairs, maintenance and rebuilds. A highlight at the facility is Atlas Copco SA's Talk Equipment Calibration Laboratory. This lab is the only one in the country that is accredited to do hydraulic calibrations up to 45,000 newton meters. The lab is also able to work up to pressures of 75,000 newton meters for calibration of wind turbines. The Trading Academy at Atlas Copco uses virtual reality in training new recruits, preparing them for the precision that is necessary to use tools on assembly lines. The training is especially helpful for the automotive industry since as many as 680 vehicles are assembled a day, with thousands of bolts that need to be accurately tightened. Van Niekerk explains how the facility is set out. When you come into our main admin building, you come through our reception area. This is actually what we call our basement. Um, because if you look at the parking, you know, the, it's elevated the, the levels of the ground uh, that we've got our facilities on. Then you will move in t- onto the first floor where we've got um, holdings and um, ISIT sitting. Where you've also, you will find our academy and you'll find our canteen facility. Um, if you move up to the first floor, you will have the Atlas Copco industrial business areas. Uh, which is industrial technique, as I mentioned, um, power technique and also compressor technique. And they actually then go out at the same level onto the distribution center and the workshops in the back and the backyard. And then on the second floor, uh, we've got what we used to have, the mining business, which is now Epiroc. So, and also then for access control, we've got them sitting on the the top floor because um, we are now two separate legal entities. And as you go through the facility, you'll see there's a lot of access control throughout the whole building. Obviously, you know, we only have two legal entities and that's the way we should keep it. Then in the back, you will see a distribution center and you will see a lot of workshops, both sides in a U-shape and then also open yard space. Um, where we keep all the equipment that is uh, work in progress and en route to the customers. Uh, that's pretty much what we keep in the back. Of, of the yacht space there. In aligning to market conditions and general movements in the industry, Atlas Copco is moving away from fossil fuel driven equipment towards electricity driven equipment with its compressors, generators and light towers. 
Van Niekerk discusses the company's increased move to electricity. For now, I think, you know, if we really think at the environmental the concerns and the conscientiousness that everybody um, do have, um, it's important that we now also look at our technology and go more of the electricity route with our equipment other than using the, the fossil fuels in your equipment. So I think pretty much that's the focus for us going forward, bringing in capital equipment and products to our customer. That's going to be electricity driven, more clean energy. And then also obviously we optimize our current equipment so that our customers also see the energy efficiency benefits coming through to them as well, which obviously also support them in their profitability. Other news making headlines New Al Road Fuel Depot to guarantee security of supply and efficient service. The new upgraded Sassol and BP Southern Africa Al Road Fuel Depot is officially open for business. This project is a very important project for Sassol. First of all, when we started this project, we only had 9 million litres storage capacity, which means that we could not really service our customer in a most excellent way. We ran out of stock regularly, and then we had to get product from Secunda on road, and that introduced safety uh, challenges. And then we actually were not being able to be so efficient in our delivery, so it introduced costs. So this project is very important. The second reason why it's important is that we moved, we expanded from 9 million liters to 64 million liters, which means now we are now a major player in distributing product from this center throughout the whole of Gauteng, which is an amazing ability to be able to do that. And this is a world-class facility, and we're able now to service our customers and in a very efficient way, in a safe way. That's Kriva Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.